Hello, this is Jake from the Corona team and in the next few minutes you'll be able to use the new tone mapping tools to get exactly the look you're after. Tone mapping now comes in a configurable stack of operators so you can add, delete and move them as you require. We can find the tone mapping stack in the virtual frame buffer under post and the default stack consists of simple exposure which will control the overall exposure of the image. We've got our white balance, tint, contrast and the saturation. The ASOS output transform is a new operator we can see in the stack and it's basically a one click ASOS film look. So if you're looking for that film like ASOS look then this is for you. We can see that by just switching it on we already get a nice filmic tone mapped image and it's really simple just turn it on and normally in these overexposed areas we'd have to do some highlight compression but with the ASOS OT on that's no longer the case. New operators can be added using the plus button and just note that highlight compression is now known as Reinhardt highlight compression and filmic highlight and shadows can now be found under filmic mapping. Operators are applied from top to bottom and we can move operators around by clicking and dragging and the checkboxes on the left allow us to turn them on and off. And we can also delete operators by right clicking and delete. And because the stack is completely customizable, we can add as many operators as we like. We can add another look. And we can change the opacity to what we please. And while you can use these to blend results of looks together as we've just seen, it can also be a handy way of storing two or three of your favorite looks. And then just switch on the ones we want when it comes time to saving, rather than having to keep changing them via the dropdown. We can also see this big old preset button down here and we can select any of these presets. And just be aware this will remove the current setup. So if we wanted to save our current parameters, we can click on save and use the load button to load it up later. Let's choose warm cinematic. And with each of these, you may need to adjust the exposure as the exposure depends on the lighting conditions in our scene. And we can also play with the contrast and pretty quickly we get some nice tone mapping. So far all the tone mapping has been applied globally and we can use a camera override to apply unique tone mapping to certain cameras. So let's select our camera and under tone mapping we can see that we have an override checkbox. And when we turn that on you can notice that the camera's name appears on top of the stack and the tone mapping changes. So now we can make the tone mapping changes independent for this camera. And this can be really helpful when we have interior and exterior shots in the same scene that we want to render that would require very different exposures. And finally, if we'd like to use photographic exposure instead of simple exposure, we can enable that in the camera, add photographic exposure to the stack, we can move it to the top and turn off our simple exposure. This then gives us control over the ISO, the f-stop and the shutter speed. As you can see, tone mapping gives us the power and flexibility of tone mapping without having to leave the virtual frame buffer. We look forward to seeing what you create and make sure to check out our other videos to keep exploring what Corona can do for you.